My name is Joe Del Campo. I live in Bureau Beach, Florida. I'm a retired FBI agent, 25 years service. Uh, past 19 years, I've been in private security and uh, consulting. I attended college in Philadelphia from 1963 to 1967, LaSalle University, after which I graduated and went to the United States Naval Reserve. I served three years. Uh, post uh, Naval Reserve then, uh, I was looking around for a job, nothing suited me, offers and things really didn't get excited. Then there was uh, an offer, uh, a thousand FBI agents were needed, I applied in the FBI, wound up uh, getting uh, in, and then while serving in Milwaukee 1975, I got a master's degree because I wanted to teach at our academy, at the FBI academy, and the minimum you had to have was a master's degree to do that. So I was able to uh, get a master's degree and uh, teach at the FBI Academy for four years. Uh, I got antsy and wanted to go back to the field and carry a gun and a badge again, so that's what I did. And uh, for the rest of my 25 years, I was in the field as, as an FBI agent, uh, doing all sorts of uh, criminal investigation type. My last job I had before I retired in Philadelphia, on TBA they call it CSI, but we don't call it that. We call it ERT, Evidence Response Team. And those are the guys responsible for going out at crime scenes and investigating crime scenes. I think, uh, if you say smart person, I tend to see things before they actually happen, kind of, and have intuitiveness about things. And that helped me very big on as being an FBI agent. It helps me in my daily life. It helped me post-FBI career as a security consultant. And knowing what to do and how to do it really before it became, you know, crystal clear. Uh, right now, today I'm 71, in two months I'll be 72 years old. I have not aged, no, I, I've been fortunate. I, I've worked out all my life, I continue to work out. I certainly went in training for this show here, six months, hitting it hard every day. I built a little uh, thing at the, at the garage, uh, two by fours, working, balancing for that. Built myself a fire saw, a bamboo fire saw to make the fire, and you know, so I could do it here when it comes time to do that. So I'm, I'm, I'm psyched, I mean, I'm pumped for this. This is the real deal for me. I, I was a hostage negotiator in the FBI. Well, the skills that you learn uh, in, in hostage negotiation are one, communication, and then listening. It's probably the most important thing. You have somebody that's barricaded, you wanna hear what they're saying, how they're saying it, listen to what he has to say, or she, or whatever it is, and then try and work through that to get them to do something they probably don't wanna do, which is surrender. And Sometimes it works, most times it works, sometimes it doesn't. This to me is going to be the ultimate challenge. It's not only about living with a little bit of food and, and having to live in not really nice conditions and bugs and all that, but the biggest thing is be able to communicate with these other people and be able to make it through that gauntlet to be this whole survivor. So I, egotistically speaking, I think I can do it. I think I got the gift of gab to be able to appreciate each one of those people I'm going to deal with. They know that not everybody's going to like me. There's going to be guys that look at me and maybe women saying, what's this guy all about? But that's not going to stop me because when I talk with them, I'm going to be sincere. Now, I know, you know, eventually you got to cut bait and, and do that, even though you might be really friendly with somebody, but that's the nature of the game. And it's the game. After the game is over, you're back real life. This is make-believe. I can't believe I'm sitting here on this beach right now. I think uh, Survivor's going to rank right up there, uh, again, because, one, the length of time that you're doing it, uh, two, uh, under the conditions that you're doing it, not comfortable, not that much food around, you have to pretty much get that yourself, being able to associate with strangers, all different ages, all different walks of life, being able to be and talk on the same level, listen to what they're saying, appreciate what they're saying, and then form alliances where you have a group of people who are like-minded with you to carry yourself to the end. I think that that's going to be, I probably won't get a chance to do that kind of a conglomerate of people the rest of my life. I mean, there might be other challenges for me, but something like that, from everybody that I've ever heard play this game said, it's like unlike anything they've ever done and wish they could do it again for the most part.